Hi, this is Carrie from Woodenville Wine Blog and from Lake Chelan Wine Blog, and I have a problem. I have way too much wine in the house. We are wine industry folks and wine bloggers, and people still bring wine to my parties to give me, which is very kind and generous, but please stop. I have too much wine. I actually have to throw a couple parties this weekend, not only to see my friends and hopefully show them a good time, but to get rid of some freaking wine. So today I wanted to show you how I'm doing this for less than $50 per party of about eight or 10 people each time. <clears throat> I run to Trader Joe's and I'm not throwing a dinner party or a cocktail party, just I wanna set out some nibbles and treats for while people are here, but it's a crazy busy weekend and I don't wanna spend a lot of time getting ready and I don't wanna spend a ton of money on food. I save that for the bigger cocktail parties and the elegant dinner parties. This is why I left Trader Joe's. I'm gonna be setting out some boards and spreads just so people can walk up and help themselves. And this is antipasto, Mediterranean vegetables. That was $1.99 according to my receipt. Easy to open it up, put it on a little cute dish, no problem. Right next to it was the antipasto with cherry tomatoes, yum. Now, if I had more time and it was a pro proper cocktail party, I'd be setting out canapes, little fresh ve or vegetables that I cut up. I don't have time for that. Yellow and red peppers. These were, I forget how much yellow red peppers. Oh, $1.99 for a huge jar of them that my guests probably won't finish. Eggplant with tomatoes and onions. Just set it in a bowl. Um, <clears throat> I do not know how to pronounce this. <laughs> Giardiniera? Anyway, Trader Joe's Italian slightly spicy pickled vegetables. Most of the stuff I picked up today is pickled. It can be tricky to pair it with wine. I don't care. I'll set it out and let people deal with it. Cut beets. Easy to put them in a little bowl, add some color to the table. Cute! Tapa style artichoke hearts. Adorable. Set them on a plate, on a platter, call it good. Marinated artichokes, I may or may not set these out. They seem like more of a salad item to me, but, and I already have these other artichoke hearts, but maybe, depending on how many people come and how much food they eat. I always cruise by my tables. If I remember to, about every half hour, see how it's going. If I need to refresh them. This is a new Trader Joe's items, Hearts of Palm. And if you're watching from Lake Chelan, you don't have a Trader Joe's anywhere near you, sorry. Olive tapenade. Now something I don't have in my under $50 is a budget for crackers. But uh, the total for this bill was 30, let me check, $33. So that gives you room between the 50 to get some meat, which I did not include in this. I'm personally a vegetarian, but I set meat out for my guests. And I didn't include cheese because cheese is a good way to blow your budget and just go, woo, now it's a $100 party. But so far I've spent $33 and I'm still pulling out some stuff. Dolmas, vine leaves stuffed with rice. You could get a take and bake bread or a baguette for three or $4 at Trader Joe's and maybe two, four or $5 completely different cheeses or completely decent cheeses. I would get three if you could budget in for it. So you have some cheese, some bread, you could skip the crackers. Uh, olives, I love putting out olives. These are stuffed with garlic. And again, I'm not sure what you, which wine you pair with garlic stuffed olives, I don't care. Chakdiki olives, giant, delicious. You could set them aside, take them out of your budget and replace it with some meat or fresh veggies instead. And cornichons, yummy, yummy pickles. So this is a bunch of pickled stuff. <clears throat> If you could stretch your budget to $75, add some fresh fruit, little desserts, still Trader Joe's makes it super affordable. So thanks for watching and let me know in the comments below what kind of items you'd be most tempted to put out on your spread for your wine drinking party. And thanks for watching.